What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, just a few weeks ago, HiveOS went ahead and released a new process for setting up a new rig on their platform. So today I wanted to go over step-by-step -step how to do that and we're going to be using this little test bench that we put together here. I always call this a mining rig on a board, running just a 500 watt uh, Aries game power supply, a old HP motherboard pulled out of an old workstation tower, and if we ever need it, we have a 750 watt server power supply as well. So today we're going to be going over two ways. The first way is going to be via a solid state drive. Today we're using the GPURisers.com 64-bit solid state drive. If you guys are interested in this, I'll put a link down below as well as a discount code. And then just a cheapo four gigabyte USB 3 uh, drive. Look at that, falling apart there. Uh, so we will go ahead and go through this step by step as to how to do this on the computer, adding it uh, to your farm. And then we'll go ahead and bring it over and plug it in and just show you guys exactly what to do. So the process is a little bit different. Uh, they've added a few different changes to it and they've hidden the config file a little bit. Um, it's a little bit harder to find, but it's still out there. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and go over exactly how to do this. The one thing that you guys may want to consider buying is a SATA to USB dock. That's exactly what this is here. Uh, this is made by the crew over in Unitech. It actually has the ability to duplicate drives if needed, but I don't really have a need for that. Um, but the nice thing is, is it was cheap. It was the same price for one that could duplicate versus uh, a single, but you will need something that will go, go ahead and allow you to interface your solid state drive. And this one just plugs right in and then goes directly plugged in with USB into your computer when you do need to go ahead and create that HiveOS image. I'll put a link down below to this one if you guys are looking for one, but any one will work out there uh, at this point in time. Okay, so let's get started. So I think we're gonna go over how to flash the solid state drive first, and then we'll get into the USB drive. I always recommend a solid state drive over a USB drive, and that's only because of the documentation that I originally read when I first got into mining on HiveOS's site that recommends a solid state long-term, a USB drive short-term, just because of the constant read writes. I'll leave a link down below if you guys are inter interested in reading that documentation. I know a lot of you guys have been using USB drives for years now, and you've had no issues, you pick your poison completely up to you. So our first step is to come over to hiveos.farm, click on install, come down to where it says GPU, and click where it says zip. This is gonna go ahead and download the image uh, that we are gonna go ahead and flash onto our solid state drive. Now we do need to get the software that will do this process, so go ahead and select how to write image and it's going to explain that for solid state drives, you can use Etcher. And then for USB drives, we will use Rufus. So for Etcher, go ahead and click Etcher. And it's going to bring you to this website and go ahead and click download for Windows and install Etcher. It takes 30 seconds to install. Let that finish. Let the image finish and circle back to this video and we'll get started on our next process. Okay, once you have installed Belina Etcher, as well as you've downloaded the HiveOS image, which will take a minute or two, you're now ready to go ahead and apply this. So I have gone ahead and plugged in my USB SATA dock. It's an adapter that I showed you guys previously into my computer and powered it on. So we're gonna go ahead and load up the Belina Etcher and it goes ahead and has found this drive. You can go ahead and click change and adjust it if needed. It actually has hidden some of my other drives that I have in my rig just to be safe as they're labeled system drives we don't want to mess with that we just want to mess with this solid state drive as you can see 64 gigabytes great now we're going to go ahead and click flash from file once you select flash from file navigate to where you downloaded the hive os image to and select it and hit open once that's completed you'll see both of the first two steps populated go ahead and click flash this is going to take a minute or two based off of your computer speed and a lot of other variables, but I'll circle back to you in just a minute when this is done. While we wait for that solid state drive image to fully flash, head over to your farm. The next step we want to do is go to the upper right hand corner and click the plus sign. And we want to do add worker. Once you're in here, this is really where you're going to notice the difference from the last setup and process versus this one. So we're going to go ahead and select add rig. 
Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and do connect existing because we already have the HiveOS image made. It's currently in the process. So it's going to generate a new rig for us. And it's going to give us the rig ID and password. Well, guess what? We don't need that because we're going to go back to the way that I love using, which is generating the config file. So in the top right hand corner, click settings. And this is where I want you to make two changes. First change is I want you to name your rig here. So we're going to name this rig here. Uh, let's see, what do we want to name it? Um, blue sky. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then we're going to come down to password. And I want you to create a password here. So I'm just going to type in a password. Mining one, two, three, four. Okay. Now we want to go ahead and make sure we click update worker. And then you also want to click update password. Once that green bar is gone at the top and we see the little config dots away at the, at the top here, we will then go ahead and click, look at this. They kind of have it hidden up here in the top right hand corner, the rig dot config. This is going to save us a, uh, a step. So let's go ahead and click rig.config and it's going to go ahead and download the rig.config file. Once that's finished, we're now ready to go back over to our solid state drive. Okay, so once that finishes, I recommend that you power off your adapter or unplug that adapter connected to your computer for the solid state drive, wait about a minute or so and then plug everything back into your computer as we do need to do one more step before we go ahead and plug this into the rig. So go ahead and do that, and we'll check back in a moment. Okay, so our image has applied with Belina Etcher. We're all done and good to go there. We're just gonna go ahead and click the X in the upper right-hand corner. Now our next step is we wanna get that rig.config file onto the solid state drive. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so if we come into my computer, you should see Hive now listed in here as a uh, partition. If you don't see it in here, what you wanna do is you wanna right click on this computer and go to manage. That's then gonna go ahead and load up disk manager. Go over to disk management. And if you scroll down, let me expand this here, make it real big, bam. What you're gonna notice is you're gonna see a, this is says 59, 64 gigabytes, whatever is fine. That's what we're using. You're going to see this listed, but you're not going to see a drive letter next to Hive. So you're going to see a Hive one here. So you're just going to right click on it and go to change drive letter. And you can go ahead and change this. So if you don't have one, hit add and select a drive letter. Uh, uh, for this testing, I'm just going to remove the W and I'm going to come in. This is probably what you guys would see. Right click, change drive letter, add. We're going to call it the W drive. Sure, why not? Now, once you do that, you will then notice that it, if you refresh in here, that it comes up in here. So once you're in here, what we want to do is we want to locate, this is the uh, OS file structure. So what we want to do is we want to locate our HiveOS files that we downloaded. So remember, we just downloaded the rig.config file. You just want to right click and copy it and paste it in here. If it says there's already a file in here, that's fine. Just hit replace the file destination. If not, no, no concerns. Now we are done and we are ready to go ahead and install this over in our rig. So turn off the USB adapter, plug it into our rig and then boot up your rig. Okay, so our rig is booted. You can see we have our solid state drive installed and we're up and running and take a look. We have it up, it's ready to go, no miner, no GPUs, of course. And then if we come over here, there's blue sky, and it's been up for just under a minute. So now we're set and ready to go to start slapping some GPUs in here. Let's go ahead and go back to the computer, and we'll go ahead and talk about setting up a USB drive. So the USB drive process is going to be super similar, just a different software to install the image onto the drive. So when you're over here in Hive OS, you're going to click install. You're going to go down to how to write image and you're going to select Rufus. 
it's going to bring you over to the Rufus website. That's just the name of the software. And go down to download and right here, Rufus 3.17. Download Rufus. It's just an executable and go ahead and run it. Okay, so we have Rufus right here on our desktop. We're going to go ahead and double click on it. It's going to go ahead and pop up. So it shows us here's our USB drive that we do have in here. Just a little 8 gig USB drive. And our next step is that we want to go ahead and apply the image. So this is the same image that we used for the, uh, the solid state drive. Just to recap, you're going to come over to the HiveOS website, click on install, and the image we want is right here under GPU. Just click zip, and it will go ahead and download that image for us. Okay, so we will go ahead and select our image. We're going to go ahead and hit, click select, and you can see here is the image that we most recently downloaded. Go ahead and select that, and then just click start at the bottom. It's going to give you some warnings letting you know anything on that usb drive will get wiped just click ok it may also tell you there's multiple partitions on that usb drive that they will be lost that is okay click ok and now it's going to start the process this is a longer process i have found that this takes maybe 20 minutes um so go grab yourself a drink grab a snack and check back when this is finished okay so the usb finished the image applied from rufus onto our usb drive so we need to repeat the process we did before which is we want to get the config file onto the USB drive. So if you guys recall, we downloaded the rig.config file uh, for the blue sky rig uh, that we had set up previously uh, in Hive OS. And our next step is we need to put it onto that USB drive. So if you go ahead and load up your computer, uh, you'll go ahead and notice that, hey, there's no Hive OS here. So we need to right click on uh, this computer and go to manage. Once that comes up, you're going to click disk management. And we're going to take a look here. Let me expand this. And okay, you can see down here at the bottom, disk three, Hive OS is there, but there's no drive letter associated. If there's no drive letter, it won't show up in Hive OS. So what you have to do is you have to right click and go to change drive letter. And we're just going to make this our O drive. Okay, hit okay. And now when we go back into computer, look at that. There is our hive drive. Once you're in here, you want to right click on rig.config, hit copy off of your computer and paste it onto the USB drive. Now safely remove the USB drive from your computer. And let's go ahead and jump over to our test rig. Okay, so we have our USB drive installed. We don't have any solid state drive installed. And let's take a look here. Hive OS is currently booting right now, going through the initial boot. And waiting for network. Network is good. And it should be loading up any second now, which is great. If this does not load up instantly for you guys, uh, you may need to hook up a monitor like we did here for our testing purposes, but ideally you shouldn't need to. Uh, unless you have a more advanced motherboard and a newer motherboard, and you might have to go in and set things like 4G decoding or a CSM on there, um, or if you have to go in and set your PCI speeds to Gen 2. So if you have to do any of that, your monitor is definitely going to be required. But if you're just going ahead and plugging in this into an older setup, it should boot on its own. I have not done anything with it. And take a look. There it is, ready to go. If we come over, and there we go, blue sky booted two minutes heck yeah we are ready to mine okay guys so that is it for today uh that uh, hopefully you guys learned something hive os did make some adjustments so the way they go ahead and add a new rig especially with burying that rig.config file uh, it took me some time i was actually manually entering the rig id and password every single time i actually reached out to them via twitter and asked hey how do we access the rig file? Uh, is it not something we can generate anymore? They pointed me in the right direction and I thought, hey, this is great info. Let me share it with my community. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.